Hi guys, for the second time today, once again, excuse my voice, um, but I wanted to also tell you something really cool um, that I'm hoping can reach the right audience who knows that I'm not like um, bragging, thinking that I'm hot shit, thinking that, um, you know, any of those things. I am truly just sharing this to hopefully inspire and uh, motivate somebody else out there to do the same thing. So around Christmas time, there are so many ways that you can help each other, um, do charity work. You can do um, meal kitchen um, things where you like give out meals um, to those who are unhoused or who just need food. You can do um, any any kind of organization like that, or you can donate toys to um, certain organizations, toys for tots and like those kinds of things. Um, but there is another option that a lot of people don't know about, and that is adopting a family for Christmas. Now, this is something that I've done three times. Um, I did it once in 2015, and then I did it again last year, and now I'm doing it again this year. And um, the first year I did it, it was a family of four. Last year, it was a family of five. This year, it's a family of six. So um, it's going to be a lot. But I always post about it on my YouTube channel. I post hauls of like all the things that I got them and um, do things like that just to spread awareness. And every single year that I've ever talked about it um, or mentioned it, people are like, oh my God, I literally didn't even know that was a thing. I have to do that for next year. And so I thought that while it's still early in the season, I would talk about it and um, I would bring it up on all of my platforms. I brought it up on Instagram. I'll bring it up on my regular YouTube channel and this one and hopefully just help you guys get a jump start on it for this year and be able to adopt a family. So excuse my appearance. This is a work day for me, so I just don't care how I look, um, but I just wanted to get on here and talk anyway. This is a vlog channel, so it's just chill. It's It ain't no thing, um, but a tofu block. Everybody says it ain't no thing, but a chicken wing. I don't eat chicken, so anyway. Um, sorry, I had the hiccups, but I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the family that I'm adopting and tell you guys how you can maybe find the same thing. Um, if you're in Minnesota, there are two organizations that I've used. One is Adopt a Family Angels Minnesota, and the other one is Spreading Cheer um, Adopt a Family, something like that. Um, you'll be able to find, find it if you just Google Adopt a Family for Christmas in Minnesota, but that's what you can Google or look on Facebook. Um, that's where I found my groups was on Facebook and, um, that it applies for any state, any city. I'm doing a family who lives very far north of me, um, quite far, actually like three hours away from me. And typically you would want to do somebody that's more in your area so that like when you go to deliver the presents, because a lot of them don't have transportation, um, but it's just, it makes it easier for when you're donating the presents to them, you have to drive to their house and, you know, all of that. So, um, but I, I figured it would be fun, um, because Duluth is on the way to this family and I've always wanted to take my family to Duluth just for fun. So, um, it'll be like a little trip that we'll make out of it. So it's all good. Plus, as you guys know, I don't mind driving. My fiance doesn't mind driving. We love to drive. So, um, so the family, I'm not going to tell you anything specific about them, where they live, their names, anything like that. Um, but I will say just a very brief part of their situation. Um, so the first, I'll just tell you about all the families that I've done this for in the past. So the first family, the husband left and um he was the sole income earner for the family and he left them for the babysitter uh for the nanny and so it was the mom and her three teenage daughters um or two teenage daughters and one like 10 year old son and uh they were alone and they were just like oh my god they were living out of like a one-bedroom apartment 
because that's all they could afford. The mom had not worked in so long. The second family, uh, the dad, I believe, was in jail. Um, but I don't remember exactly. But I think, oh, no, it was a domestic violence situation um, that happened. And so it was the mom and her three kids. And they were alone living with family. And then this year, um, the family is a family of it was a family with three children and they adopted another family member's child their their baby um they took this baby home from the hospital to escape a bad situation and now they have full custody of this baby who's now one year old so they have the dad the mom and the 14 year old daughter the 10 year old daughter the seven year old daughter and the one year old daughter so all girlies it'll be a great time to shop um for them i can't wait i'm so excited to shop um the 14 year old loves painting and drawing the 10 year old loves science the seven-year-old is such a girly girl, and the one-year-old is obviously one-year-old, um, but she likes turtles, and they just need any educational toys and clothes for her. So that's the sitch on this family, and I'm going to be starting my shopping soon. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I'm not sure. So here's the thing. If you have the money to spare, this is a great thing to do. Uh, from 2016 to 2020, I did not have the money at all. I was completely flat broke. I uh, did not have anything. Um, so then last year, I was able to do it barely. <laughs> um, I, I scraped by. I made it work. It cost me about $1,000, maybe like $1,200 last year to adopt the family of three uh, or the three children and the mom, so the family of four. But um, this year, obviously, it's a family of six. Last year, I was like, okay, this was too much money. I'm going to adopt a smaller family. But the problem is the smaller families get scooped up like that. Like anything with three kids or more, it takes them a lot longer if they get adopted at all because people want to do the small families. They see like a mom with a three-year-old son, uh, excuse me, a mom with a three-year-old son and they're like oh I got this family I'll adopt this family because it's easier and it's cheaper um so I wanted to be able to adopt a bigger family and this family just called to me their story um taking in a family member's child as their own making them part of their family just like it touched me in such a deep way so I wanted to adopt this family so um the mom and dad asked for nothing for Christmas they just said that they want to give their children a miracle. So, hi, it's me. I'm Miracle. Uh, but sometimes the families will ask uh, for like household items. They'll ask for cleaning supplies, uh, grocery gift cards. They'll ask for gas gift cards. They'll ask for um, uh, food. Uh, sometimes they need food for the holidays and they can't afford to put a meal on the table for Christmas. So uh, there are just, there are so many things that the family could need. So I would say, make sure that you have enough financially to be able to adopt a family. Um, and don't be stupid like me. <laughs> so this is something that I do every year completely by myself, whether I have tons of extra money or just a little bit of extra money. Um, you would think that I would have tons of extra money this year because my fiance did really well like in his job but the fact of the matter is we were pretty behind earlier this year so we had a lot of bills that we had to pay off and credit cards and things like that and um, we're also trying to get into a house which as you guys can imagine is extremely difficult when you're both self-employed you literally need to put like a hundred thousand dollars down on <coughs> on a home and have an 800 credit score, like both of those things. So we're trying to save as much money as we, as we can, but thankfully because my fiance has been working so hard and doing such a good job at his job, um, all of my money is just going to be going toward um, Christmas. So yeah, this is my thing. It's a thing that I do and I would love to encourage any of you guys out there to do the same. 
um, if you are able to, of course. I always say this at Christmas time, whether it's just buying for your own family or buying for somebody else, don't go into debt for a Christmas present. It's just not worth it. Like the Christmas spirit will be there in the time that you spend with the fa with your family and friends, in the meal that you eat together, in the memories that you make. Don't go into debt for Christmas presents. Um, so yeah, last year I said I would never do a family that was three kids or more. This year I'm doing four kids, um, but I think it'll all work out and it will be a really good experience. So um, I'm super excited. It'll be my new hyper fixation for the next few months, uh, which is great. I needed something to hyper fixate on because I've been going literally fucking crazy, you guys. Um, the other night I was so close to a breakdown and I was texting my fiance and I was like, you know how in Titanic, how Rose says, um, I feel like I'm in a crowded room and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs and nobody even bothers to look up. That's how I've been feeling lately. And I've been telling people, telling you guys on my other channel for like three months, like I just need a fucking break. Um, I just need a break. I'm so burnt out. I'm so stressed. So I'm going on a trip and that's always my thing. I go on a little trip when I need time to like reset, relax, um, and just be a better parent and a better partner. I go on a little trip. Uh, and my fiance was super busy. He had to go on a few trips in a row. Um, and then he's been working really, really hard ever since. So he can't like take time off. It's the very end of the season. So he has to work up until he cannot physically, they cannot physically put roofs on anymore. Um, so yeah. I have not been able to get away. I have not been able to take a break. I've just been really, really stressed and I feel like I'm going fucking insane here. Um, I've not been a nice mom. I have not been a nice partner. I've just been terrible. So I, I always say that this adopting a family thing, I literally do it for selfish reasons. Like I do it for me just as much as I do it for the family. Um, I love to be uh, an angel, as they call it. I adopt a family angels. Uh, I love to be an angel for the families and for those people who just need a little extra help, who need to get on their feet because I've been there and I know how hard it is. Um, and I know what it's like to just need a little bit of help, especially at Christmas time. So um, it makes me feel really good to be able to help those people. However, it also makes me feel good to be able to go shopping and to be able to buy presents for these girls and to give candles to the mom and be like, here you go, just light, here are five fucking candles that I've made and you can just enjoy them and not have to like worry about, oh, I'm going to save this because it's too expensive to light or um, enjoy or whatever. Like I, I get so much joy from it that it's like, it's half selfish for me. <laughs> I like to be selfless and like help others, but mostly it's for me, you know what I mean? Um, it's just something I really get joy from during this season. So I thought maybe you guys might too Google or look on Facebook, adopt a family for Christmas in my area. And I know something Sorry, will come my, up. My dog just started barking at somebody outside. Um, but, yeah, there are so many ways that you can help for the for the holidays um, for people all around the world. You could do Feed My Starving Children. Um, you could do just so many things. Just Google charities um, to support during the holiday season in my area. There are so many restaurants and stores and places that have like drop boxes for new toys or gifts or presents or um, things like that. Like there are so many things that you can do. So I highly encourage you guys to do something, um, do something for others this holiday season and it'll make you feel so good that it'll feel like you're doing something for you too. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys about my family and, um, yeah, get ready for me to talk about literally nothing else except my candles and this family for the next month and a half, because that's what I'm going to do. Um, anyway. Thanks for listening and I will talk to you guys later.